A young Muslim woman from Cardiff is using her experiences of racism to create a photo exhibition with a difference. 22-year-old Aisha Khan grew up in the valleys but says she was confronted by Islamophobia. Her plight inspired her to create a series of photographs capturing Muslim women in the workplace. Our reporter Ashna Harinag went to meet her. A kickboxer, a dentist and a footballer. All Welsh and all captured by this photographer. But those aren't the only things they have in common. This is Samia, this is Amanda and this is Isra and they all happen to be Muslim. This project is the brainchild of Cardiff-based photographer Aisha Khan. She wants people to start talking about Muslim women for all the right reasons. Muslim women in Britain, they have everyday roles, they work, they, you know, they can be an artist, they can be a GP, so there's so many different roles, so it's just to show that we're not like locked in cages and things like what some people think. These were the thoughts of some Aisha encountered whilst living in Neathport Talbot, feeling attacked by the community she grew up in. When I started wearing the scarf and adopted um, the Pakistani style of dress, then I found more people were staring, more people were um, very abusive. There was a lot of physical abuse. I was spat on, I was chased with knives. Fueled by wanting to change perceptions came the idea for the photographs. Her work has now been recognised by exhibitors who are now showing it off to the public. Muslim women are involved professionally at all levels of society, which is sort of fantastic and something that the public doesn't actually kind of fully appreciate. But also, I think more importantly, um, it shows the kind of contribution that Muslim women make to British society and obviously Welsh society in particular. Aisha hopes these photos will educate and encourage open-mindedness so that those captured through her lens can be defined by more than just their appearances. Ashna Harinag, ITV News, Cardiff. Well, joining me now is Saha al Fifi, who's from the organisation MEND, Muslim Engagement and Development. Welcome to Wales at Six. Thank you very much for coming in. And we heard there some of the reasons why Aisha wanted to put on this exhibition and take these photographs to change perceptions. Do you think ideas like this do work? And if so, why? I think they do work, definitely, because the exhibition is a visual thing. Everyone can relate to and, and it resonates with everyone. And with the rise of xenophobia, generally speaking, and the constant demonization and alienation of Muslim women, these exhibitions are very needed. I mean, only today, Boris Johnson compared veiled Muslim women to letterboxes and bank robbers, while this exhibition is saying something else, that Muslim women are active citizens, they're participating in public life, they're artists, they're Doctors. And this is what we need to see, that Muslim women are like anyone else who just want to express their faith and the, their identity in the way they want. And, and picking up interestingly on, on the comments you made there about um, the face value, you're wearing a kneecap today, um, how do you think it's possible to break down stigma around that and barriers around that and change misperceptions? I think we need a more responsible media. Uh, meaning the print media specifically. A lot of the negative stories around uh, Muslim women and minorities, you know, we're talking about LGBT, black minorities, um, uh, anyone of different faith or different colour, being demonised by the print media. So we need more responsible media. We need also to open channels of communications. Uh, we need dialogue and discussions to humanise everyone because ultimately what you saw in that exhibition that there are women who are proudly Welsh and apologise energetically Muslims. I think that the key um, uh, soundbite that came out of that for me was they happen to be Muslim. Yes, that's the key, that everyone um, of different background or race or faith, they can be an active citizen of the society, participating in public life and doing whatever they want. And just briefly, from your personal experiences, are things improving generally? Uh, no, sadly, especially after uh, Brexit. I mean, she spoke about her experiences in the valleys. Uh, there is a, a dramatic increase and in rise in Islamophobic abuse, in hate crime in the streets, but not only that, in institutional Islamophobia. Now we ha I have come across women who started to think of taking off their hijab or headscarf or wearing a cap so they look normal and this is sad because how brutal it is to deprive somebody from expressing their faith or identity. Um, so Al Five, your time is against. It's really interesting to talk to you today and thank you very much um, for thank coming very in. Very enlightening. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.